Types of quadrilaterals. What's a quadrilateral? Well, remember that a polygon is a closed figure with at least three straight sides. A quadrilateral is a polygon with exactly four sides. Quadrilateral is the name for a four-sided polygon. There are different types of quadrilaterals. They're classified or named based on their sides. Are they parallel? Are they perpendicular? Are they congruent? This is a kite. A kite is a quadrilateral with no opposite parallel sides. Take a look at these opposite sides. They're not parallel because they will eventually cross. Let's check the other pair of opposite sides. Also not parallel. This is a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with only one pair of opposite parallel sides. The top and bottom of this trapezoid are parallel. If we were to extend those lines out, they would run side by side forever and ever and they would never cross. They're parallel sides. But take a look at the other set of opposite sides. Not parallel. This is a parallelogram. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of opposite parallel sides. So here, the top and bottom are parallel, but so are the left and right sides. Parallelograms can then be separated into two different shapes. A rhombus is a parallelogram with congruent or equal sides. So this parallelogram has all four sides the same length. They're equal, they're congruent, and that makes this a rhombus. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. So this is still a parallelogram because it still has opposite parallel sides. It also happens to have right angles and that makes it a rectangle. So what is a square? A square is a rhombus because it has congruent sides. It's also a rectangle because it has four right angles. So there can be more than one name for these shapes. A German Shepherd is a dog, but it's also a mammal, and you could also call it an animal. A rectangle is a parallelogram, but it's also a quadrilateral and a polygon. Let's take a look at polygons. Polygons might include triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, hexagons, we can even go up to octagons. Polygons are shapes that have three or more straight sides. So if we look at quadrilaterals, four-sided polygons, we have three options here. We have kites, trapezoids, and parallelograms. And remember, this is all based on whether or not the opposite sides are parallel. Kites have no parallel opposite sides, trapezoids only have one set of opposite parallel sides, and parallelograms have two sets of opposite parallel sides. And then parallelograms we can break down even further. We can call it either a rhombus or a rectangle. It's a rhombus if its sides are congruent, and it's a rectangle if it has right angles. And if it has both of those things, congruent sides and right angles, it's called a square. Kites, trapezoids, and parallelograms, these are all quadrilaterals, and they're all polygons. A rhombus is a parallelogram and a quadrilateral and a polygon. A rectangle is a parallelogram and a quadrilateral and a polygon too. And a square, a square is a rhombus, it's a rectangle, it's a parallelogram, it's a quadrilateral, and it's a polygon. Let's review quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals are polygons with exactly four sides. Quadrilaterals are named based on their sides. Are they parallel? Are they perpendicular with right angles? Are they congruent, meaning equal in length? Quadrilaterals can have more than one name, just like a German Shepherd can also be called a dog. Here are some examples of kites. 
these shapes don't have any sets of opposite parallel sides. Here is what trapezoids look like. All three of these shapes only have one set of opposite parallel sides. These are all parallelograms, and yes, you see a rectangle and a square and even a rhombus in there. All of these shapes are parallelograms because they all have two sets of opposite parallel sides. Rhombuses have congruent sides. Rectangles have right angles and squares have both. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.